Okay, uh, today I decided to talk about some blood work and specifically uh, creatine kinase. Okay, um, you probably know I'm really big on being a healthy bodybuilder and doing things the healthy way or the healthiest way. And, you know, assuming that most people are taking PEDs, you need to get your blood work done from a doctor to make sure that you aren't damaging your body to the point of no repair or at least you're aware of the damage that you're doing so that you can make that final decision as to whether you want to keep pushing the limits or maybe it's just not worth it. You have to figure it out. So with that, at least with blood work, you, you have you know, the data to look at to make a decision as to whether it's really looking bad for you or if it's safe or whatever. At least you have the information. So with creatine kinase, most of my clients, most of my friends, people that I know that take steroids or other, you know, PDs, whatever, this is the number one concern or question that I get brought up and it shouldn't be. So creatine kinase is a measure of how much damage is being done to the muscle. So when you get to the doctor and you do your blood work and they analyze it and your number comes back like really high, like a normal number would be 30 to 300 is like this range that it's supposed to be. And if you're out of the range, it can show problems. So people get that and then they'll say, I'm a thousand, I'm 2000, ah, what do I do? I'm, what did I do? Oh my God, my life's over. Oh, the doctor said I injured my muscle. Like, what do I do? And it's like, relax you are a bodybuilder and you go to the weights and you curl and you bench press and what do you think happens the muscle is getting damaged slightly so that it repairs and comes back bigger so if your numbers come back normal then you're not even training hard enough nobody should have in that normal range if you're a bodybuilder and you went and worked out and you go and get your blood work done creatine kinase should be ridiculously high and if it's not you probably didn't work out hard enough now it's not to say the test is, is pointless and stupid if you were in a car accident and going 100 kilometers an hour and you hit into another car and boom and you get hit and then maybe you got crushed by the seat belt or the steering wheel or some serious thing that can signal like major damage to the muscle and you'd have to be aware of that and so the test has its place but in bodybuilding, if this number comes back high and you didn't get in a car accident there's just a normal life, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. So relax. I don't care if it's 4,000. Now, just so you know, I've got blood work done about 12 times and I've ranged from 800 to 4,600. Usually I'm 2,000 something and it's never been a worry. The first time I went, the doctor was freaking out because it was like 4,000 something. Then I went to another doctor and he's like, don't you work out all the time really hard? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, all Olympic athletes that are training would have values over 1,000. It's just the research shows it's just, it's normal. So no big deal. So don't worry about this number and don't confuse it with creatinine, okay? So it, it starts with the same word kind of creatine so it's very confusing and it's not from just using creatine so don't worry keep supplementing with creatine don't freak out but uh, crea uh, creatinine is a measure of your kidney function so I'll make another video about that but creatine kinase relax if your numbers high relax it's not a big deal okay do another video later